souris. Voilà. <laughs> Today is a big day. <laughs> I agree to trade my beloved camper for a forklift without even seeing the forklift. So today I am going to find out if I made a really, really bad deal or a really cool deal. Aua. But of course, first I need to walk smoother. By the way, what's going on with the weather? We had snow two days ago. When I started getting into making things and building stuff, I couldn't afford a workshop and an apartment in the city. So I did the only logical thing and sold my car, bought a camper and moved into the camper into my shop. Back then I didn't really document my work, which is a big regret. I can only, that's my biggest advice to everybody, document your work and take pictures of the stuff you build and also of your workshops because it's so cool to see how things evolve. And I only have one really cool picture of my old workshop. It might be hard to believe, but I actually lived in this little camper for five years. So this is where my bed was and I had my wardrobe. Oh, sorry, smooth. I had my wardrobe and everything in here. I had a turntable set up here and I used the fridge and this is where the heating was. Either way, it's time to, it's time to move on. Although Smudo might disagree. Huh? You wanna stay? Nostalgia alone doesn't justify hoarding stuff, right? So it's time to let it go. 12 years ago, I made the decision and this was the first stepping stone for, for the life I have now, honestly. It's weird, right? But this little camper made all the difference. Um, Let's hope the thing I'm trading for it will make a big difference too. The more space you have, the more stuff you will collect. It's almost like uh, with great shops um, comes great machinery. <laughs> is that a quote? It is now. <laughs> the one thing I need more than anything right now is a forklift. A forklift would allow me to take advantage of the high ceilings and also just get this place in shape to move around my heavy machines and to be more flexible with the space that I have. Are you guys ready to meet Harry, the person that I, <laughs> that I trade all the things with? at the company where they have the forklift. Um, I haven't even seen it, but I know it will be tough to get the forklift on top of the truck bed so I can actually take it home. There are so many unknown things, but I can't stop smiling. I'm so excited to get, a, to get my own forklift. This is, oh, this is the best moment of truth. Let's go check it out. Trading is basically like buying, but instead of giving away a currency, you give away potential. So you're essentially trading potential for potential, at least that's how I see it. And that's the beauty of trading because I'm giving away my camper. It used to have a lot of potential for me. It doesn't anymore. I don't need it anymore. What I need is a forklift. A forklift would have a lot of potential for me. That is the beauty of trading. But of course, it always comes with the risk of doing a bad trade. I hope I didn't make a bad trade. <laughs>
There is a time for everything. There is a time to live in a camper to make ends meet. And there is a time to trade that camper for a forklift so you can unlock the full potential of your shop. <laughs> this is very specific. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is invest in the things that make you happy. For me, it was never about, you know, cars or big houses or, you know, all these standard luxurious things. A forklift, a camper, an old broken bicycle, a grill. <laughs> Those are the things that bring me joy. Um, and I'm just, I'm just very grateful that, that I found these weird interests. What I'm trying to say is invest in the things that make you happy. And sometimes it's not money that buys you the stuff. In my experience, usually it's not money that buys you the things that make you happy. So I couldn't have done this without my forklift. Look at, look at how beautiful this shop looks. I mean, it has never been like this. This is the best. It was worth it. It was worth it. So good. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I am enjoying my new forklift. As always, I want to thank the wonderful people that I work with who make all of this happen. My sponsors, friends and partners. If you want to know about the brands that I work with, check out the description. There are links to everybody. And most of all, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.